No, there's no reason that two entities can't coexist. There may be competition, but there is at times, what's what I'm looking for? Um, continuation and competition. Like for instance, you have Apple and Android, two totally different things. Both create the same things, both exist. So there can be coexist, coexist, existion it co is this is just an intro so we can cut it right what is going on y'all it's your man mike titan the gaming savant bringing y'all another episode of the broken controller and today i'm talking about virtual basketball by virtual basketball i'm talking about nba live 16 and nba 2k 16. now if y'all have been watching this channel for a while and seen my past videos about virtual basketball the NBA 2K16 you know my high disdain that I have for NBA 2K15 um I used to be a huge 2K fan matter of fact my old YouTube channel that's what I got big off of doing pack openings and my team and stuff like that but ever since after 2K13 um I just have not been feeling the 2K games so I was you know watching some recaps from E3 and I was like man live 16 looks pretty good you know, I, I actually downloaded and played 15. It's actually a very playable game. It's not bad. It's not like Live 14 or whatever NBA Elite 11 was going to be. But it's actually a very good game. And to me, this is a side note because y'all know I'm a music producer and an audio engineer. I've always felt like that Live had the best, like, hip-hop music in a sports video game ever way better than 2k especially when they start letting people just pick their playlists so you would have jay-z who would just put 13 songs by jay-z and one by a rock band and one by pharrell and then pharrell was like 12 songs by pharrell then one by missy elliott and other songs that pharrell produced and it's like okay that's cool i guess but like live has like underground hip-hop like Smith and Wesson, I believe Murs was on it a couple years ago. Like I, that's just me. I always felt like the EA tracks was way better than 2K's music. But the video I'm talking about today, um, Live 16. Now I was watching videos of this, watching gameplay of it. The game doesn't look bad. The game looks way better than 14, way better than 15. Now I'm not here saying that Live 16 is gonna come back and take away 2K's throne. No, it's not because for the years that Live has been away, I want to say it's like two or three years before 14 came out. 2K pretty much just took a stranglehold on the virtual basketball market and just be like, "This is mine, and I'm not letting go." And they have not let go. But that's not to say that Live 16 or NBA Live can't have its own niche in the basketball market either. Now, I, pr I personally plan on buying both games. I'll probably do some comparisons, some, you know, maybe reviews if I have enough time, but the comparisons of Live 16, 2K16, which one I like better, what I like about 16, what I like about Live, things of that nature. Now, a couple of things that I saw that I hope Live can implement that will kind of sway me towards that game more than NBA 2K16. Um, video that I saw on uh, online on YouTube uh, online team play for y'all that don't know NBA 2k 11 has been regarded as the best sports game ever a good part of that was because they had a little mode called crew mode crew mode pretty much you and four of your other friends create a crew y'all play five on five basketball with your my players but you use NBA base teams NBA teams as a base team so what most people would do they would pick the Cleveland Cavaliers because that's the year LeBron went to the Cavaliers and they would like just use them <laughs> and their my players together but even though it's that mode had its you know false you had like seven ten play like eight foot ten players and then you had like one foot two inch players and other glitches and stuff like that it was still a fun mode why because you and your friends got to play virtual basketball and uh there's a big community that wants that mode back. If NBA Live can emulate even half of that mode, give you and your friends be able to use your rising star players, go on the court, you know, create custom jerseys, create custom courts, you know, run plays, stuff like that, that would be amazing. That would be a big selling point for me. And I could probably talk some of my friends into playing, into buying the game and playing it as well. Um, like I said, also, I love the music in EA better than 2K. Um, one thing now, FIFA is doing this, and I feel like if Live would do this, it may not, it may not bring as much attention as you want, but it'll definitely bring a lot more people looking at the game. 
add WNBA in the game. FIFA is adding women's World Cup teams in the game. Live, if you want some, if you want people to take a closer look at your game, and you want to differentiate yourself from 2K, add a WNBA mode into Live 16 or even Live 17. Just add it in there. You know, I'm probably sure you'll get a big boost in fans. I'm probably sure people would love to play as Brittany Grinder, um, Della Della. Della Dewey, I forget her name, the girl that played at Delaware. Um, Sue Bird, Swin Cash. Um, uh, uh, people would love to play a Skylar Diggins. I mean, who wouldn't want to play a Skylar Diggins? She was, you know, probably one of the greatest Notre Dame players ever. But yeah, that that's also a great idea. Like, add the WNBA into Live 16 or Live 17. Live 16's graphics have improved tremendously. You know, they may not, they probably won't be as good as 2K16's graphics, but they look, like they look next gen. Like Live 15 to me looks like a next gen game. Facial animations, and also the presentation. I feel like the presentation in Live is leaps and bounds better than NBA 2K16. Like when I went into Live's practice mode, they like showed around the court, showed me had Damian Lillard looking at a poster of himself on the wall and stuff like that. Like that was great. And also the ESPN presentation, you know, back when 2K was ESPN basketball, that was their presentation was like bar none. Like you had halftime shows, post shows, pre-shows. Um, you had like the the old sports center music on there. Like it was it was amazing. Like I love that about the old ESPN basketball before it became 2K. But now live pretty much has, you got Jalen Rose. Now the commentary is not as good as 2Ks. I will go ahead and say that. Uh, the commentary team for live, lacking a little bit of flair, a little bit of, uh, you know, um, energy. But that can be fixed with just re-recording some of the stuff. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much my inclination on live 16 versus NBA 16. Um, like I said, I'm looking forward to both games. I'm going to buy both of them. I'm going to do some gameplays of each one. You know, I'm going to decide which one I like better. And I'll probably go at it from there. So, leave me some comments below. Where do you guys, are you guys looking forward to NBA Live 16 or NBA 2K16? Are you going to buy both games? Do you think that Live is crap and should not be allowed to make games anymore? Do you feel like 2K has taken their stranglehold of the virtual basketball realm too much and haven't put enough you know thought or presence into their game to make it a viable playing option leave me some comments below i would love to know you guys responses anywho i'm your man mike titan i want to thank y'all for watching please make sure to like comment subscribe it's your man mike titan and i'm out this piece go fade away